Hey guys, this is Simon. Uh, looks like my last video wasn't very popular, but I actually kind of expect that. Uh, before I post the video, I already knew a lot of my viewers would not agree with the idea inside that video, and I do too. However, I still think I shall make a video about this because whether we support this view or not, I can tell you one thing for sure, and that is there are a lot of people in China firmly believing that. And they think their lives have been vastly improved in the past several decades and economic Yay! achievement outweighs the negativities. So they're pretty content with the current system. Uh, they think there's no need for us to rush into something new and all the existing problems will probably be solved by the government in the recent future. It just takes time. Although we might have a different belief, but I think we have one thing in common, and that is that we all want to live in a world where average people can enjoy their lives. And that includes uh, making a decent salary, having good social support, having the freedom to make life choices, and the government is transparent and corruption free, and it treats everyone like equally and nicely, so everyone is protected by the rule of law, and everybody's voice is respected, right? I think eventually we want the same thing. It's just like we have different belief about like how we can get there. Now recently I've been thinking the internet allows us to access all kind of information so easily but at the same time it is not necessarily bring us closer. It actually creates some barriers preventing us from understanding each other. For instance, uh, take YouTube as an example. Uh, if you favor a certain kind of view, then you probably will stick with several channels that share the same ideas. And YouTube will also keep promoting similar videos to you. So people will just end up like watching videos from like-minded people and everybody will be like, see all those people around me share the same ideas. My favorite channel have the same thoughts. All the people under the comment section also support that kind of idea. So it looks like we are holding the truth, right? And then you go to a channel who supports a opposite idea and you will be like, why there are so many ignorant people supporting him? That's impossible. But to them, they probably will have the same feeling as well. I mean, if we don't try to understand each other, uh, we're just gonna stay like that. We will never find something in common. However, if we want to make some meaningful changes, then I think it is crucial to understand people from the opposite side, right? Because if you don't have any clue about what they are actually thinking in their mind and why they have that kind of logic, then how are you going to convince them, right? I hope you can understand why I make these videos. Let me just take my mom as a real life example. She's just an average Chinese woman, you know, uh, born in the late 60s. She worked hard and saved money for the past several decades. Her life improved significantly. Better living condition, higher salary, more saving, and she also witnessed the development of the city. If you told her that the government doesn't really care about its people, the only goal for it is to stay in power and it has done a lot of horrible things in the past and a lot of people are suffering, do you think she will agree with you? No, she wouldn't. She would probably laugh hard at you and think you are crazy. Why? Because it contradicts her perception. She will be like, no, that's not true. I lived in China for so many years. Our life is getting better. And I think our government knows what they are doing. So you will never be able to convince her if you don't understand her, right? Because her perception is too far away from your idea. But if you try to understand her and thinking from her perspective, and after that, try to talk to her, then she might be able to understand you. Maybe not 100% agree with what you said, but at least she can understand why you have a different perspective. So instead of saying, oh no, communism is evil, you can say something like, hey, I know the government has done a pretty decent job in certain places. The development speed is indeed very impressive. I understand the government wants to focus on economic development right now, but I think there are some other parts which are also very crucial for a nation. And if we can fix these things, the country will become even better. For instance, currently, there is no effective mechanism to supervise people from the top. Maybe the leader we have right now is a good one, but what if the next one isn't that great? So we better have a system to prevent them from doing whatever they want, right? Nobody wants a cultural revolution 2.0, right? And we should come up with laws that prevent the police from detaining anyone they want. So next time, uh, if some doctor wants to speak out the truth, he won't get silenced and everybody will be safe. If you say something like that, I think my mom will understand. And I think everyone will agree. So you see where I'm going? Although I don't have enough data, but based on my experience, I think people like my mom actually represent the majority of Chinese. 
they don't care that much about politics. They might read news from those official media in China once in a while, uh, but they don't want to make any changes. They just want to live in their ordinary lives. However, if we want to make some changes, we want to make China become better, then definitely someday we need their understanding and their support. And I think by understanding them first will be a great start. I just would like to mention one more thing before I end this video. In China, throughout our education, uh, we were taught that the government is yi shi fu mu. Which means like they are like the parents for our society, uh, keeping everyone alive, feeding people, and providing everyone with clothing. So most people couldn't figure out the difference between like government and nation, and especially for young teenagers, criticizing his government is just like bashing his parents. I mean, in China, every average Chinese have been there before, and 10 years ago, I was like them as well. So I sincerely hope you guys can understand them from their perspective. Then we might be able to bring them closer instead of pushing them away. Because eventually we all want the same thing. And eventually we might need their support. All right, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this video. Gonna end it right here. And uh, yeah, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will catch you on the next one, okay? Peace. Now, I just would like to add one more thing before I end this video. So every time I make a video, I will always think about like whether my video can actually tell you something you never heard about. Because if every time I make a video that gives you a kind of feeling like that's exactly what I think, then do you think my video actually worth watching?